Loki Season 2, Episode 2 ends with a reunion and some surprising twists as the titular god of mischief ties to prevent the destruction of the TVA. In Loki Season 2, Episode 2, Loki and Agent Mobius manage to track down Hunter X-5 who defied orders from General Dox, choosing instead to become a movie star on the Sacred Timeline. After some significant interrogation, Loki and Mobius were able to locate Loki's variant Sylvie whom X-5 found on a branch timeline before he went rogue. As such, the ending of Loki of this episode features a dynamic reunion along with a dramatic shift in the status quo for the multiverse and all its newly branched timelines. Why Sylvie is mad at Loki As seen at the end of episode 2, Loki is the last person Sylvie wants to see or even talk to. This is because he didn't side with her in the finale of Loki season 1. Rather than agreeing to Killy who remains like Sylvie wanted, Loki was far more cautious in his concern over the imminent threat of he who remains variants. However, Sylvie doesn't share in Loki's belief that the TVA is necessary for the safety of the multiverse. After all, Sylvie had spent her entire life running from the TVA and hiding in apocalypses always in danger of being pruned from existence. Now, she finally has freedom and a life where she can do what she wants. As such, the rift between Loki and Sylvie has become quite evident following this new episode. General Dox and the Hunter's plan explained. Eventually, X-5 reveals the secret plan in the works from General Dox and the Hunters who remained loyal to her command. Having raided the armories of the TVA, General Dox refused to believe anything had changed in the core mission of the TVA. According to Dox, branches from the sacred timeline still need to be pruned. As such, the TVA general came up with a devastating plan to blow up all the branches in one single campaign, giving the rest of the TVA very little time to stop her. How Dox's hunters can blow up whole timelines? Using several temporal charges from the TVA armories, hunters were sent out to multiple branch timelines to detonate and prune as many realities as they could which had sprung out from the sacred timeline after Sylvie killed he who remains. While the pruning of a branch timeline was standard protocol and was featured in Loki Season 1, the pruning of several timelines simultaneously has likely never been done before and will likely have devastating consequences. What happened to all the destroyed branches? As Hunter B-15 looked in horror at the TVA monitors, she confirmed that Dox and her soldiers were decimating billions of lives with every timeline they destroyed. This is particularly devastating for the new multiverse that had been forming in the wake of Loki Season 1. While it follows that new branches will likely form over time, it cannot be overstated that all of those lives and realities have been tragically lost and erased to the void. Where are Ravonna Renslayer and Miss Minutes? Episode 2 confirms that Ravonna Renslayer is still missing and TVA is now actively searching for her. Having likely become a partner of He Who Remains after Loki discovered a past recording of the two of them together, finding Ravonna will likely help explain what's been going on with the multiverse and what the TVA should expect when it comes to the threat of He Who Remains variants. Furthermore, the episode also confirms that the TVA's advanced AI Miss Minutes is working with Ravana as well, having left many TVA operations unmanned in her absence. Obi's problem with the TVA's temporal loom explained. Although Obi had a plan to retrofit the TVA's temporal loom to handle all the new branch timelines that had emerged, he discovers in Loki Season 2, Episode 2 that the sealed blast doors can only be opened by the man who made them, he who remains. Likewise, Miss Minutes is nowhere to be found to override the systems. As such, this is likely how Victor Timely will enter Loki Season 2's narrative, a confirmed variant of he who remains who's been seen in the show's trailers and was also teased in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania's post credit scene. In the original comics, Victor Timely was a variant of Kang who went back in time to create an entire town and factory in the 1,900 seconds, establishing a power base in the past that came to fruition in the present era. As such, it seems as though the MCU's Victor Timely will be similar, appearing to be giving lectures about time travel in the 20th century. As such, it's likely that Timely will have the same temporal aura needed to open the blast doors, what with he who remains having been killed by Sylvie in Loki Season 1's finale. What Sylvie has at the end of Loki Season 2, Episode 2. Refusing to join Loki, Sylvie returned to her her life and branch timeline at the end of Loki Season 2. However, it looks as though she kept he who remains talisman after she killed him, effectively a super advanced version of the TVAS standard issue tem pads. As such, it's clear that Sylvie will have a much bigger role to play as Loki Season 2 continues. As much as she might like to continue working at McDonald's and keep enjoying her newfound freedom, Loki saw Sylvie when he time slipped into the future. As such, it stands to reason that Sylvie will find herself back at the TVA sooner rather than later.